Here's the question we're going to explore today. Does coaching really work? You know, it's it's an important question because if you look around in the entrepreneurial marketplace, you can see that the, the market is flooded with people who are calling them co- self-coaches. And there are lots of us out there who have such a, you know, a positive intention and a positive desire to help people. And I love that. And at the same time, I hear stories about how some people have had negative experiences with coaching. And I really want to do my best, my absolute best to clear up any residue that might be in the way of understanding what really makes coaching work. Because when you boil it down, coaching doesn't work unless you work. You see, I tell a lot of people about my story about how I hired Ingrid Elver as my coach uh, back in April of 2011. And I was at a point where I was just stuck, right? I kept hitting this wall, I kept hitting this financial wall, I kept hitting this business wall, and I couldn't get past it. And so I hired Ingrid um, just straight out of faith because she was, you know, very expensive and very powerful and very much worth it. So it was a thousand dollars a month to work with Ingrid and I worked with her over the course of a year. And three months later, and you may have heard the story, three months later after I started working with her, my business tripled. But it wasn't because of her. Yeah, she was powerful. Yeah, she's experienced a lot of success in her business. And that was the reason, one of the reasons why I chose her because of the level of success that she had achieved. It made me more apt to believe that she could help me. You know, we don't want to hire a coach who's not achieving the level of results that we want to achieve. You know, as a coach, I can only bring people up to where I am. So if somebody comes to me and they have a vision or a goal of wanting to create seven figures in their business, I can't do that. I'll refer them out. Or if they come to me with a challenge that I know that I can't handle, I'll refer them out. Because being of service and contributing to our clients, adding value to their lives and their businesses is what's going to help them grow. But when, it, but when you break it down, Coaching doesn't work unless you work. You are the most important ingredient in the coaching process. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to give you what I believe are the three most important components when it comes to to knowing whether you are coachable or not. And here they are. Component number one is, are you open? Are you open? What does that mean? Well, it means that you're transparent. It means that you don't have any defenses up. It means that you're open and you're vulnerable to looking at whatever wounds might be inside of you that need to be shifted so that you can begin moving forward in your life. A lot of people will have uh, sort of a defense mechanism that will block them from exploring themselves even more. But that self-exploration is what allows me as a coach or somebody else as a coach to really understand what what are the blockages, the emotional blockages that are inside of you that we need to release and let go of so that you can move forward. Component number two is removing any need that you have to be right. It's like that story about the Buddhist and the protege. The protege is sitting there with the Buddhist at lunch and the Buddhist begins pouring some tea into his glass, to his cup, and his cup begins to fill up, to fill up to the top. And as it fills up to the top, it begins to overflow and the the, the, the protege is sitting there looking at the cup and looking at, up at the Buddhist, looking at the cup. All of a sudden, the tea is hot and it begins pouring on his lap a little bit and he says, stop pouring, stop pouring, my cup is full, my cup is full. And the Buddha stops pouring his cup and he says, exactly. It's exactly how your mind is. Full of your own opinions, full of your own assumptions, full of your own conclusions, full of your own beliefs. And if you want to learn something, you have to empty the cup of your mind. Hmm. Removing any need you have to be right allows the coach that you're working with and you to both go in together. Let's go into your internal world together and explore what's stopping you and let's also explore some of the resources that are already within you that will help you move forward powerfully. Component number three, and for me, I believe this is the most important component when it comes to being a successful coaching client, and it's this, taking action. You see, nothing changes until we take new action. Definition of insanity, doing the same things over and over, expecting a different result. Well, if you go hire a coach and you have these great exploration sessions, these great strategy sessions, these great mental shifting sessions, but you go out into your business and you keep doing the same exact things, nothing is going to change. It can't. So you've got to be willing to take the action necessary in order for you to achieve the results that you want. So those three components will let you know whether you're a coachable client or not. And if you're considering getting coaching, then those are the three components that you want to take into that relationship. 
And yes, it, it is important for the coach to be able to have the ability and the skill to build rapport with you, to create a safe space so that you can be vulnerable, so that you can be transparent, so that you can remove your need to be right, and so you feel comfortable opening up. And then finally, you got to take action. And that's one thing that really allowed me to explode my business when I started working with Ingrid was I was willing to do the things that she was coaching me to do. I was willing to take the big action necessary in order for me to grow my business. I was willing to increase my prices. I was willing to change my business model around. I was willing to do things differently because what I was doing was only getting me so far. And so what I want to offer to you right now is the opportunity to maybe work with me one-on-one -on -one for a session. You know, a lot of people tend to call me the slingshot coach because what happens is when people are ready and people hold themselves back for so long, for so long, for so long, and they come to me and they're ready to create change, they slingshot forward into their business and into their lives. And if you're at that point where you're ready to slingshot forward, I want to make an offer to you. So if you want to... Uh, sort of start to explore what's possible for you. Take a look at what some of your goals are. Uh, open up to see what some of those emotional and mental blocks might be. And also to create some strategies so that when you leave that session, you can implement strategies immediately. Take advantage of the coaching consultation now. Um, I'll leave my information right there. And when you come in, please come in knowing these three components because it will make our work together a lot more effective. So take care, God bless, and I look forward to seeing you real soon.